Today, I wanted to do just a quick little look using the new ColourPop or Kid You Not collection. I know it's not their latest collection because they just dropped that whole like NBA collections type deal this week. Um, but I'm still enjoying the Or Kid Me Not collection. <laughs> okay, so that's what I wanted to go ahead and use today. Just wanted to do a quick little look for you guys. As you can see, it's already on my eyes. I'm loving it. I'm a little biased because I do love purple. Okay, I really, really do. But this Or Kid You Not collection is so gorgeous to me. It's so pretty. If you love purple, the whole purple um kind of lilac -y orchid vibe then you'll probably really like this palette and maybe some of the other items that came along with it in this collection so the packaging let's just start with the packaging okay the packaging is so beautiful i mean you know ColourPop is really great with their packaging marketing all that good stuff but this is one of the ones that I really, really love. So this is the actual box for the package. As you can see, it has the shade names and ingredients listed here on the box. But for the actual palette, this is what the actual palette looks like. Now I do prefer, well, sorry about the lights, you guys, but I do prefer when they come out with the cardboard packaging for the palettes that actually look like this, you know? So I would have preferred that for this, but it's still gorgeous color nonetheless. This is what this looks like. It does list the shade names on the back, as you can see here, along with, you know, the fact that it's cruelty-free and all that good stuff. But no ingredients listed here on the actual palette itself so with this being one of their plastic palettes as you can see it does have a mirror it does have you know the shades here shade names listed as well but the little design you know kind of makes it hard to read them so i will go ahead and insert some clips where you can you know have a better view of the palette of some swatches and things like that now what i want to do while i'm showing that is i do want to read what ColourPop has to say about this palette. It says here, um, and what does it retail for? This is one of their $14 palettes. So it says here, we're not kidding about this vibrant orchid inspired palette. Features nine highly pigmented pressed powder shades in lilacs, violets, grapes, magentas, and plums. All shades that I absolutely love with buttery matte and shimmery metallic finishes. Feel the floral in these rich shades of our Orchid You Not palette. So very, very gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that's the first item I wanted to show you guys with the little swatchy swatches, okay? Now, the next item I wanna show, I think are these, what are they called? They are the color sticks. So I guess you can use them like for your eyes lips whatever you know just various uses um these are ones that i would probably just use for like eyeliners just being totally honest there are three different shades for these eye sticks so it looks like the lightest shade is called pressed and that is a metallic shade the next shade is called venus slipper it says it's a matte sparkle so that one is a little bit deeper and then the last one here, the dark one is called You Grow Girl, and that is an absolute matte shade. So those are the three color sticks, very cute. Like I said, I'd probably use them like as eyeliner or maybe as a base on my eyelid. Not sure, but I didn't use any of them today. So next we have 
the lippy sticks so these are really really gorgeous i like all three of these colors i did go ahead and try all three of them on so um yeah i'll go ahead and insert that here so you can see me trying all three of the lippy sticks on so it looks like the lightest shade here is called heavy petal and it's a matte shade the next one is called dancing lady that's also a matte now after i put that one on i was like um this mug is not coming off it was really really hard for me to get that off so just fyi <laughs> but i do love that color absolutely beautiful and then the darkest one is called Orchid. That is the one that I ended up living, leaving on my lips right now. So very, very dark, very plumalicious. It's called Orchid and I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so those are the three lippy sticks. Next, let's talk about these blushes. Okay, I did go ahead and try on both blushes. Um, let me show you the packaging. Look at this, oh my gosh, is she so pretty? so gorgeous i know it's the same but it's still beautiful so there are two blushes i'll insert a clip of me trying on the first blush here which is the lightest one and let me see what is this one called the lightest one is called just my pluck and super duper light very very light definitely not meant for my skin tone i just wanted to put it on so that you can see it if you are someone who likes these type of shades and you are my skin tone and you wanted to kind of check it out, I did want to just show you what it looks like with me applying it. So this is the lightest one called Just My Pluck. And then the darker one, Lord have mercy. Ciao. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Love it. It's called Potted, okay? So this is what the darkest one looks like, as you can see, because I'm sure I'm inserting something here. But this is what the darkest one looks like. Absolutely beautiful. It went on with such beautiful pigment. It blended out so nicely. I was able to kind of just tone it down and blend it in with my powder and all that good stuff. But, oh, so gorgeous. I love, love, love that blush color. I believe it's going to be one of my favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. And last but not least, we do have this Soul Body um, Highlighter. It's called a Shimmering Body Powder in the shade Wild Orchid. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure that I'm showing it here on the screen so you can get a closer look. I was a little bit intimidated by how this might actually come off on me when i applied it but i mean as you can see it just looks like an absolutely gorgeous beautiful highlighter it's not um like this super bright purpley looking highlighter it just goes really really well with this eyeshadow with this lip with the blush it just all of these products work so beautifully together to bring you a whole gorgeous orchid <laughs> themed face you know beautiful purple plums magentas all of that for my eye look i just want to go ahead and just talk about the shades that i used for this eye look while i show you guys little clips of me putting this on um yeah so i did my face first today so because of that i just have like concealer and powder on my lids i didn't even use the eyeshadow primer or base today which wasn't intentional but um it was really nice for me to see the pigmentation of these shadows even just on my skin tone not using a lighter base or an eyeshadow primer and honey these shadows are staying they're on they're beautiful i love them so very easy to work with easy to blend so i started out with the shade rebloom and i started with that in my crease and it showed up a lot more pigmented and a little more warmer and deep than i thought it would i thought it would just be a really really light flush of color in my crease 
but it really proved to be a beautiful color even if I wanted to just use that for an eyeshadow and not just a transition shade it works out very nicely for that so I went in my crease with that after that shade I used what is it Ada looks like I don't know okay Ada and I went in with that because I wanted to just kind of gently deepen you know my inner and outer corners I knew I wanted to do kind of like a a halo eye or a spotlight type eye today so I just went in to gently deepen you know I was gonna work my way to the darker purple but after I used that color in my inner and outer corners I was like whoa that's really gorgeous really deep is deep enough I don't need to go any deeper today um that shade is beautiful <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful these tones of purple oh my goodness just gorgeous so i went in with my in my inner and outer corners with that shade blended beautifully and then lastly okay this is just like a three shadow look you got no it's four shadows because i do have an inner corner pop and so once I had the crease work down and I had it deepened in my inner and outer corners for my lid, I wanted a nice bright pop. So I went ahead and went into Of All Purple. Very, very gorgeous shade. I took that and tapped that just on my lid with my finger. You guys know I typically don't use my fingers, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep it easy today. Tap that on my lid with my fingers. So beautiful, so gorgeous blended with the mattes beautifully and as you can see it's still should popping okay so i did take on my lower lash line some of the shade Ada, same one that i used to deepen my inner and outer corners and then for my inner corner pop i did go into what is that pretty one okay pretty one yes i went into pretty one didn't even spray my brush i just tapped it in there and blended it you know in that inner corner kind of buffed it out a little bit so it would just have that nice amount of brightness beautiful so i really enjoyed using this palette it was i mean i'm very familiar with color pop i love color pop shadows they're gorgeous they are affordable and they just they work you know what i mean they work they're easy breezy and so this was a collection that i was very very pleased to grab and so happy I did because, you know, can't go wrong with purple, right? So this is the look. Added some lashes, black liner on the upper lid as well as the lower lash line, as you can see. And that is it, you guys. That's it. So I would say 100%. I would definitely, you know, give this a thumbs up. The lightest blush is just the one that, you know, is not really my cup of tea, but that's to be expected because that's for a more fair skin tone. Everything else, absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick little video sharing my thoughts on this collection with you guys. Hopefully this format of just inserting clips worked for you guys and it's okay. You know, I'm still trying to find that happy medium between doing tutorials which it seems nobody really likes anymore and still giving you content with my thoughts on products and showing you how i use them so that's it you guys hopefully you enjoyed this little casual <laughs> chit chat about the orchid you not collection let me know in the comments did you guys grab some stuff are you thinking about grabbing some stuff what do you think about today's look? You know, is it working for you? I like it. So, anywho, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like for your girl. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!